This woman was charged late today in a frightening boating accident on a Maple Grove Lake that landed two children in the hospital with serious head injuries. Prosecutors say Jordan Seitz's blood alcohol level was over the legal limit to be driving when she allegedly drove the boat too close to shore and one of the tubes she was pulling slammed into a dock. Alex Hagan has more on what happened. Eagle Lake in Maple Grove is not known as one of the busier lakes. It's a great lake. It's, I, I hope we can keep it a secret. But Mike Dish along Eagle Lake Drive North says Saturday was different. I mean, a very busy day on Saturday. That evening, he heard commotion and saw several first responders at one of his neighbor's homes. To have that many people there, um, you know, it was really unnerving. It became known fairly quick what happened. According to a criminal complaint, 34-year-old Jordan Seitz was hosting a boating party for her daughter's friends on the lake. The complaint says witnesses told police Seitz drove the boat too close to shore and one of the tubes she was towing crashed into a dock. Prosecutors say a boy and a girl on that tube were injured and taken to the hospital with serious injuries. The complaint says the boy has a traumatic brain injury and the girl suffered a serious head injury. While questioning sites, the complaint says deputies smelled alcohol and a breathalyzer test showed a blood alcohol level of 0 .108, which is more than the legal limit to drive a boat. The last thing you want to do is have a drink while you're boating. Sites is now charged with four counts of criminal vehicular operation. Put the alcohol away, put the phones down, pay attention to what's going on. Sergeant Rick Walden with Hennepin County's Water Patrol is urging boaters to be safe as we head into August. You don't have the safety lanes and, and uh, traffic control devices like you do on the road. And so it's really of, of most importance to keep your eye on, on what's going on around you and being paying, paying attention to what, what the other boaters are doing and, and your surroundings. Back at Eagle Lake, Mike wishes the best for those two kids recovering. We're hoping the kids are OK, absolutely. We're told the kids who were injured are still at North Memorial Hospital, but we do not know their conditions at this time. As for sites, she's still in police custody and is expected to be in court tomorrow.